Why after installing my OS is the logical volume for the root partition not using all available space? This was a question I had recently after installing Ubuntu Server 22.04. This is a question you may have yourself, or you may want to know how to fill your logical volume with all available space. You're in luck. This is B from Taytalk Tech, and today I'm going to show you how to expand your logical volume up to 100% of free space in Linux with one command. Now, before introducing logical volumes, I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video or you want to see more content like this, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notifications. Let's get into it. Now, an introduction to logical volumes. A physical volume is an actual physical device that you can hold. Solid state drive, hard drive, USB drive. Comparatively, a logical volume is going to be a logical representation of storage a, uh, that is composed of one or many volume groups which are made up of one or more physical groups. Uh, they are going to look like any other storage device on the system. They are made up of three parts. They are made up of physical volumes, volume groups and logical volumes. Now, physical volumes, these are the actual physical storage on your system. Volume groups, this is a group of multiple physical volumes to make a larger storage pool that will in turn uh, be used to create the logical volumes. There's a couple of commands you can use when we're talking about volume groups. That's going to be VGs, which will show you some brief information about volume groups, and then VG display. All right, perfect. Here we go. Now let's talk about the logical volumes. A logical volume is a grouping of multiple volume groups into a single logical volume. There's a couple of commands that you can actually use to see information about them. That's going to be LVs. This will give you some information about attributes as well as the size. And then you can also do the LV display command. Now, the primary command used for telling how much space you have available when it comes to logical volumes is going to be VGs. For volume groups, this tells you right here, V size tells you what you have, what you have total available, and then how much you have free is V free, which is right there. Now, if you go back up to the logical volume display, the LV display command, you can see that it has a path listed right here. This is the path where this logical volume is located on our system. That's where it's mounted at. Now, there is another way to see this path, and that's going to be with DF tac H, and we can see it right here. Well, that's different. Now, there's reasoning for them being different, but I'm not going to get into that in this video. Just know that for the purposes of this video, these are they they serve the same purpose. So, so no worries there. Now. Using logical volumes, this can make it easier to resize partitions and allow multiple physical devices to act as a single partition. So this is not a backup solution. You have been warned, if a drive fails, you will lose data. Again, you have been warned. This is just a brief introduction. I do plan on making additional one command videos on other LVM commands in the future, so make sure you're subscribed for that. Now, before moving on to the command itself, don't forget to give this video a like if you liked it, give the video a dislike if you did not like it, Lastly, let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any questions down in the comments below. All right, now let's go ahead and start the command. The command that we're going to be using today is LV extend, and it's going to do exactly what it sounds like. It's going to extend a logical volume. And then the options that we're going to use is tac L. This will allow us to use what are called extents. Extents are at like little lo or small logical blocks that make up the logical storage volume. They're similar to the blocks that are used. They're I shouldn't say they're similar. They're basically the same thing as the blocks that are used in a physical storage device. That's exact. That's actually where block devices get their names from. Those blocks that make up the storage. Now, those block, those those extents, which is spelled E X T E N T S, are um, they are default size of four mibibytes. Uh, VGs will measure them as physical extents, and LVs will measure them as logical extents. Just know that these are the same thing as far as any of this stuff is concerned. Now. Now that we've said that we want to we want to increase the size by extents, we're going to use plus 100% free. Now what this is doing is this is saying like, hey, I want you to use 
all of the free one like the free space that is available uh, in the volume group and you make sure to add that plus sign there because if you don't add the plus sign it's not going to work properly so please do not forget the plus sign now we need to add another option here we need to add tac r which is going to resize the file system because keep in mind that a as far as using it as a storage device a, a a block device is, you know, is useless without a without a file system. So if you want to be able to actually use that as a file system, you're going to need to make sure that you not only expand the logical volume, but also expand the file system on that logical volume. So that's what we're going to use the R for. And what we're going to do is we're going to go up here and we're going to copy this path. And then we're going to paste that in there. And then we'll just hit enter. Perfect. Uh, whoops, got to hood a pseudo on there. There we go. And we can see that now it's changed from 11.5 gig Gibby bytes to 23 Gibby bytes. It's cool. So if we go in here and do a DF tag H, we can see it right there. And if we go and run our VG, our VG's command, we can see that now there is zero free space. So cool, right? All right, well, this is how you expand your logical volume to 100% of free space in Linux with one command. Make sure you check out the other videos in this series. Thank you for watching my video and have the greatest of days.